Hey guys, Mike Miner here. Another cool stuff today regarding Chia plotting. From the previous episode, we discussed about the Python code that I've created, which you will be able to queue a Mad Max plotting. But from this episode, I'm going to share something on how you can be able to plot in parallel for multiple tasks. So which means if you're, you have a very powerful CPU, you can be able to, to allocate efficiently and effectively or multiple uh, Mad Max uh, Chia plotting. So first step is we need to to make sure that we have all the dependencies, which is to run this uh, Python code. So we must have uh, uh, Python installed. So currently I'm using a uh, Python version uh, version three point nine point five. I will try to leave a description link for for the files that is uh, related to this uh, content from this episode. So, uh, based on my previous uh, episode, I've shared something on how to declare all those variables, but. Let me share a few points also because I've added some variables in order for you to 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 execute in parallel the the Mad Max. So the first variable is the uh, public full public key. So you need to initialize here, and then you have here your farmer public key. So you must initialize also this. Then uh, so the question here is how are you able to get your full public key and farmer public key? I will try to leave also in the description link on how you can uh, be able to extract this information, this key. Then the next uh, variable you need to initialize your temp folder. So this is the temp folder where it, it will write through to uh, maybe an M.2 or any storage is fast enough to handle the, the the writing. And then you have the drive path. So this is a multiple path uh, destination whereby it's going to write coming from the temp folder. And uh, you can set here as multiple path, like it's an array. So I, currently I have here the J, K, L, and M which has a folder of Chia farm. Then the end plots is the number of plots per drive path that we're going to write. And uh, you have the Mad Max folder where you have downloaded the Mad Max uh, software that will be able to make use of its functionality in running. And then the end threads on how many threads that you're going to allocate for a particular task. So currently I have uh, 12 threads and I'm fully utilizing to nine. So, but then I can be able to share it. Let's say I'm going to run later on in parallel in two. So I can set here as uh, maybe a five and five and five or four, maybe four. So the next uh, variable is uh, n parallel. So this is the one I mentioned on n threads. So how many parallels that we're going to run at the same time? So and then the and the n seconds delay is the delay when the next uh, parallel is going to execute, or the next uh, parallel task is going to kicks in. The next variable here, you no need to touch because it's a it's a variable being used when it's running. So the next step that we need to do, guys, is we need to execute the Python code that we have created. And uh, how to go about is by opening a command prompt. And once you have opened up the command prompt, you go to the directory where the Python code is residing. So or where is it save? So mine is currently save the desktop so i go cd desktop change directory and i call python chia 
parallel mad max plotter at py and press enter and it's going to execute the first uh, parallel run so the next next parallel plot will execute after 3600 seconds so how much is the 3600 seconds is is we can go to a browser and then we open up here so 3600 seconds is actually uh, 60 minutes so, but then you can still change this variable later on if how many minutes you want to wait for your for your next uh mad max parallel plot to run or to execute so this variable you can change or you can set it as zero to execute right away if you want to run the next next mad max run so how to stop this is by going to the original command window that we have open and press Control c it will try to stop the execution but this window is still open just to make sure we open up a task manager and we go to details and we try to locate chiaplot.exe and then we just stop this but then, uh, so let's say if you canceled, just uh, go to the folder here, and then uh, you can do it. You can manually clean up your temp folder. Go to the temp folder, which is my H, which I have initialized in my uh, temp folder here in the Python code. So I just go to this folder and then uh, select all, Control A. And then I'm going to delete everything. Just press delete in order for the files to be removed completely. Yeah. So that's it, guys. I hope you learned something for today on how you can do a parallel run regarding the Mad Max using the another version another python code that i've created for mad max please do subscribe and then hit the notification bell to support this channel i am deeply motivated if you subscribe guys to to to, to share some more contents uh, regarding anything about mining or anything about chia or anything about gpu mining so thanks Goodbye.